Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Khadar Jokpai, and you're watching my YouTube channel, School of Advanced Chemistry. Today, I'm going to discuss Fuchs cell, that is the part of Cambridge O level chemistry for O level and for A2 students as well. Let's talk about it. Fuel cell. Basically, fuel cells are the machines. Those can be used to generate or to produce electric current and water for different sort of purposes. So generation of direct current is made by a cell that is commonly said to be or commonly known as a fuel cell. Fuel cell basically is an electrochemical cell which can convert chemical energy into the electrical energy. So a special cell, a fuel cell is used to convert chemical energy into the electrical energy. That machine is said to be the fuel cell fuel cells are different from the dry cell with respect to uh, the source of electrode and anode and cathode the sources of electrodes are quite different for example in this case we use oxygen as a cathode and we use hydrogen h2 hydrogen gas as an anode and here we supply continuously these two type of gases those are behaving as an electrode one is acting as cathode other one is acting as anode hydrogen is acting as anode and oxygen is acting as cathode the next one thing is fuel cells use a variety of the fuels for example hydrocarbon fuel cell there are alcoholic fuel cells and there are hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. So at the moment in this chapter, in this uh, uh, topic, we are going to discuss hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. In hydrogen oxygen fuel cell, uh, in this cell basically, the two carbon rods are immersed into an electrolyte. Two carbon rods are immersed into the electrolyte and these are said to be, they are basically porous carbon rods. Porous carbon rods mean uh, I mean electrolyte can seep through these rod and they are just behaving as a facilitator. They are just going to behave like a platform. They are facilitator. They are mediator. They are going to help out to lose and to gain the electron. The second one, an acid or alkali is added into the container that is going to behave as an electrolyte. So electrolyte may be an acid in this case. An ele electrolyte may be uh, an alkali. Both can be used, both substances, acidic substance, alkali, alkaline substance, both type of substances can be used as an electrolyte in this case. Hydrogen gas is passed from one terminal that is basically behaving as an anode and it is split into two parts. Basically, hydrogen come from here, it goes through this electrolyte and it splits itself into two parts. It loses electron towards anode and it jump into the water in form of a positive ion. So hydrogen gas or hydrogen atom, you can say, it's going to split into two parts. It's losing electron and it is going to make, going to convert itself into a positive ion. So it means that this is going to be oxidized. This is called negative terminal. In this case, this terminal is said to be, is known as the negative terminal as well as it is said to be the anode. This is called anode and it is also known as negative terminal. Oxygen is passed through the other terminal that is again passing through this carbon rod and it is going to capture the electrons coming from the wire, coming from the other terminal. It's gaining the electron and it's also gaining that positive ion. For example, I'm using acidic solution as an electrolyte. If I'm using acidic solution as an electrolyte, then this oxygen that is coming from this cathodic terminal, it's uh, going to meet with a positive ion. It will capture at the same time electrons and ultimately it is going to be reduced. So reduction is happening on this terminal that is said to be the cathode. Oxygen is going to reduce itself. Hydrogen is going to oxidize itself. So in this way, basically two basic reactions are happening 
to generate to make the successful flow of electron through a wire through a bulb through a resistance that flow of electron is said to be direct current so once again oxygen is passed into the other carbon terminal here it split into the single atoms uh, react with the positive ion and receive the electrons to make water finally this oxygen this hydrogen and electrons they made together to make the water molecules and so on in this case this terminal that is uh, cathode in this case is said to be the positive terminal i mean the cathode terminal is also said to be the positive terminal in this case the polarity of this terminal this cathode terminal the polarity the sign of this terminal is basically positive it's a positive terminal and uh, reciprocally you can say that this anode is behaving as a negative terminal so anode in this cell in this case an anode is behaving negative terminal cathode is behaving as a positive ter terminal these are the basic nominees are the basic uh, sign for these sort of terminals what are the reaction there are two basic reactions as i told you uh, on anode you can say hydrogen is uh, going to lose electron is going to lose electron and basically making h positive ion in this case overall you can write this one the next terminal the next reaction is uh, cathodic reaction at cathode what is happening at cathode the above reaction is at anode and this reaction i'm going to write is cathode oxygen is going to meet with two electron is going to meet with uh, h positive ion so the first one species that is going to be formed is h2o two hydrogen uh, basically you can say and uh, one oxygen and so on you can put half over here so half o2 react with the two mole of electrons uh, meet with two h positive ion to make water so these are the two possible reactions those are happening if the solution is acidic if the electrolyte is the acidic uh, compound and so on the next one the important thing is what are the basic advantages and disadvantages of the fuel cell advantages of the fuel cell it's more efficient than the conventional cell because the energy of the fuel is converted directly into electrical energy so it's more efficient as compared to the other conventional cells the next one is its efficiency is almost about 60 to 70 percent efficient is this one it's free from the pollution like it's not going to make any sort of carbon dioxide it's not going to make any nitrogen oxides dioxide nitrogen monoxide no any sort of pollutant oxide is being formed as a result of this machine this cell so it's pollution free machine easy to port the basic advantage of this uh, how this cell is its portability this cell this oxygen hydrogen or hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is portable it's easy to port it produces water as well that may be used and that may be useful for the astronauts so basically the, these are the basic few advantages the next one that can also be an advantage is that it is not depending upon the fossil fuels i mean it's not using any sort of fossil fuel fossil fuel will remain almost you can say preserved with respect to this hydrogen oxygen fuel cell it's not going to depend mainly on the fossil fuel or it's not going to consume fossil fuel up to very much large or the appreciable extent what are the basic disadvantages let's see over here the number one is it's more expensive to develop to run to uh, to construct a cell it is quite very much expensive the next one it takes more space uh, i mean its volume is higher as compared to the other conventional cell uh, with the same power with the same sort of 
voltage those are going to be formed is it produces poor power to the volume ratio as i told you its volume is higher but as compared to the volume the magnitude of current that is being formed the voltage you can say those are being formed is less than that of its volume expected number of voltage or the expected uh, amount of voltage is less than that of its volume the the next one is uh, as we are using hydrogen as the anodic terminal as the, as an anodic element as an anode terminal hydrogen is quite difficult to store or it is quite difficult to transport i mean it's an explosive gas so indirectly we cannot report the answer don't report the answer that hydrogen is explosive or flammable indirectly you can put it over here hydrogen is difficult to store i mean we will have to store it in the form of a liquid so these were the few disadvantages and that's what all about hydrogen oxygen fuel cell thank you very much have a nice day